Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to use Blender for absolute beginners and welcome to episode 3A. Now for those of you who follow the RPG series of the Unity series that I do, um, you'll know in episode 6 we added this notice board here and I said in that series I was going to show you how we would make this in our game world if for Blender. I get asked quite a lot in Blender, how would you really go about creating something to use in a game rather than just have the cube which we make into a little box or something so we want something realistic that we could genuinely use in our game world because this is going to serve as our quest board so I'm going to show you how we would make this board in this Blender tutorial so I have this cube, I'm going to start with this cube, it's default, I love starting with the cube it makes things nice because you can make it into anything so let's start with the cube Let's firstly rename it. So if we go over here, click on the uh, little cube option there, change the cube name to board. Now I'm going to change the rotation on the X to 90. As um, well, I'll, I'll show you in a minute why I've changed it to 90. But sometimes it might be wise to know ahead what's going to happen when you apply a texture because textures in Blender are, can be a little bit awkward, but don't worry too much about it. So let's change it to the shape of a board. So X, let's have as 0.1 to make it thin as wood would be. Let's change Y to 1.5. Or do we need it to be a bit taller? Let's have it a bit taller than that. Let's have it as two. And let's have the Z as 1.5. So it's a bit thicker. So I'm gonna bring it upwards to about there. Now you say, yes, that looks like a board. That's fine, that's all good and well. Let's apply the texture and see what we get. So let's click on our material and then change Blender Render to Cycles Render. I feel Cycles Render is probably the best way to create something in Blender once you get into it a bit more. After this, click on Use Nodes and then Color, you'll see a white and then you'll see a little button there. Click it and then click on Image Texture and then you can click on Open and choose, I'm going to go with the Wood Horizontal Texture. So now let's apply that texture. So let's change our view to UV editing. Down here, click on your little uh, picture button there to choose a texture and click on wood horizontal. So you can see that's there. Now over here, let's tab into edit mode. Everything should be selected by default, which is good for us. And then click on mesh and then click on UV on wrap and then smart UV and then click OK. Now if we click our little white orb down here to change what it looks like, let's change it to rendered and we can see, yep, that looks fine. We want the wood to go that way. So let's click on solid and let's change our view back to default. Now we want to make the edges a bit jagged like what they are in the object itself. You can see at the side there it's jagged. So best way to do that is if we press, make sure you're in uh, edit mode I should say, so if you're not in edit mode, press tab. A to unselect everything, hold control and draw your mouse around just these four vertices here and we need to split them out or subdivide. So click on subdivide, subdivide and again so we can see that we have several rows equal in length and then press A to unselect everything and we do the same on the other side. So subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. Now let's make these jagged. I don't want to spend too much time um, getting them perfect but you guys can take as much time as you need to. So I'm going to press 8 to unselect everything, hold control and select just these vertices here and then we can move them like that. Press A again to undo and let's go to these vertices here and let's bring these to about there. A to undo that and I'm going to bring these vertices here out a bit. So hold control, circle round and pull them out a bit and let's take these ones here pull them in and let's take these ones here pull them out a little so you can see it taking shape and let's do these ones here oops let's undo that make sure we have the vertices selected and pull them into about there same with the other side do it one by one let's pull that to there Take that, pull that in, or rather pull it out, I think. So I feel like I'm doing this a little bit too quickly, especially for a beginner tutorial. 
However, once you get into it, you guys should be able to do this no problem. It's just a case of remembering the little shortcuts. Remember, it's 8 on select or select everything. And then hold control and draw your mouse around where you want. And we can see the board has now taken shape. It's not perfect, but you guys take your time with it and do it. So next, let's create the poles that go with it. So if we go to tools at the top and uh, go on create, and then let's click on cylinder. Now let's bring our cylinder up to about there, I think. And let's shrink it down to be more pole like. So let's click on here. Let's, um, in fact, we've added that to the board itself. It's up to you whether you want to add the cylinder to the board itself, but generally I don't think we will. So I'm going to undo that to get rid of it, tab out of edit mode, and then re-add the cylinder. So it's a different object. I feel like it's a bit more versatile this way. So I'm going to change it to pole 01. Let's change the scale on the X to 0 0.15, make it a bit thinner. And same with the Y, 0 0.15. And let's make it a little bit taller. Let's have it as two. And let's move into position. So about there, I think, and move it this way. Oops. And let's bring it to about there. And bring it down a touch. OK, so let's add our texture to this. So I'm going to go to the material again. I'm going to click on new. I'm going to click on the little button next to color image texture. Click on open. And let's take wood vertical. Now let's have our view back as uh, UV editing and X on there. And we want to add the texture, which is wood vertical. And we want to go over here, tab into edit mode, mesh, UV unwrap, smart, and then click OK. And let's head back to our um, default view. So we've got one pole. That's all good and well. Let's duplicate it now. So come out of edit mode. So press tab, go down to object, and let's go to duplicate objects. Move it all around. But if we want to lock it, let's press Y to lock it to the Y axis and move it to about there. And hit enter. So you can see at this point, we now have something taking shape. It's not perfect. You guys take your time with it and it could look a little bit more professional. So let's have a look what the render looks like. Let's click on here and click on rendered. And there we go. We can see our notice board has nicely taken shape. Now at this point, what you would do is file, export as FBX, and you would export it to pretty much anywhere, to be honest. So if we export it here, let's just call it um, in fact, I'll leave it as untitled at FBX. So export. And you can see we can drag and drop into Unity. And there we go. So that's how we create just proper objects that we'd use in a game. Now, it's also worth noting texturing in Unity doesn't necessarily work quite as well when you're importing from Blender. So it's always wise to bring in the textures as well and just apply those textures to the correct object so it's just a case of drag and drop the wood onto there and then onto poles and onto the poles and there we go and that is how you can create an actual object in blender that you can use in your real game world so this wasn't quite episode four for blender as i said this was just a little extra something i wanted to show you guys how you build something to use in blender next episode is where we're going to carry on with things like animation and everything so guys until the episode thank you very much for watching